12 this morning. Your news now. Good morning and welcome back. Students from area schools will square off in a battle over who knows more about African American history this weekend during the fourth annual African American History Challenge Bowl in Erskine Oglesby with 100 black men of Chattanooga is joining us this morning with details. Glad to have you in, Erskine. Good to be here, Joe. I'm impressed. This is the fourth year now, so it seems like uh, every year we've got uh, a growing tradition. Yeah, and, and we're extremely excited about it. Uh, the, the students are getting more engaged and exciting, but equally important, the coaches are getting extremely <laughs> competitive, <laughs> wanting to take home their trophy to their school for this coming act, the upcoming academic year. Uh, the African American History Challenge Bowl is going to be this coming Saturday, February the 27th, at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga's University Center Auditorium starting at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. So okay. get that, everybody. So in previous years, the last three winners, who have they been? Which schools are they from? Uh, the first year was Hickson, uh, Eric Jones, and Terrence Norman. And uh, they actually got to go to New Orleans, and they finished third in the, in the nation. So we were really excited about that being our first year. Yeah. The second year, it was Obadiah Barber and Robin Fennessy from Brainerd. And last year, we had a repeat champion from Hickson, um, uh, Ken Hill, and um, uh, Deshae Williams. I'm so, impressed that you can pull those names up off the top of your head like that. Well, I've been practicing them <laughs> all this week to make sure that these kids get their due credit. So, yeah. so really, it's up to the other schools to, to step up their game this time around, mm -hmm. bring their A game, and, and knock off either Hickson or Brainerd. Exactly, and they've, and they've been studying real hard, and I've been getting calls from the coaches all last week, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, that they're on point. You know, I provide them with study guides, and the official book for the African American History Challenge Bowl is uh, Life Upon the Shores, African American History, 1513 through 2008 by Henry Louis Gates. So that is the official book. So the questions can come from anything from in that anywhere book. anywhere in that book, <laughs> yeah. So we provide them, you know, a little, a little uh, format for them to look at. So, you know, they have some ideas, particularly in the earlier rounds. Uh, Joe, one thing we're going to add is a little bit of Chattanooga African American history this oh, year. Oh, great. So Good. Uh, just over the weekend, I sent them a list of things to look at that we may ask about African American history here in Chattanooga. So we wanted to have a local flavor uh, also. So how tough are the questions when you guys ask them? Are the responses usually like, you know, name this person or name this place? Well, or this well actually, it's a place? combination, but as the program develops, the answers have to be a little bit more comprehensive. You know, they may even be two-part questions. So it won't just be, you know, give this date right. or give this person. You know, you'll have you to give that date. show that they really know it. They, they have to really know it because once they reach the national comp competition, you know, they're going to be competing against about 20 other teams from various cities around the country. And these kids are sharp. But I'm real proud to say that when our kids compete, they are just as competitive as any kids across the country that's in this competition to speak to Eric and Terrence winning third our first year. Now, will the winner of this local competition get to go on to the Nationals? Yeah, yeah. This this year, the Nationals is in Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, it's well, all that makes it a yeah. lot easier. <laughs> yeah, it really is because the first year was New Orleans. The second year was Fort Lauderdale was Houston, I think, last and, and Houston. So uh, it won't be a bit of a... A, a real thrill, so to speak, you know, to take that long trip. Still but, a big city. But it's still a big city, and they have a lot to, a lot to offer the kids when they go to the, conf the championship because it's actually our national conference. So they'll get an opportunity to meet about 300 of the most powerful African-American citizens, male and female, in the country. So it's, they can network for, for future uh, scholarships or employment opportunities or you know whatever their networking skills provide and, and we provide them with some some tools for networking while they're down there also excellent well mm -hmm. Erskine, we do appreciate you joining us this morning and it's folks at home get out and support the local schools in this effort the fourth annual african-american history challenge bowl is happening saturday that's this saturday at uh, the UTC. Where was it again at UTC? At the University, at the University Center, Center Auditorium. And if they need at more information, Joe, they can contact me at 423-821-6700. That's your number right there. That's it. Also, you can get more details online at 100bmchat.org. Back in just a moment.